All right, hello guys. Uh, what's what is your name? My name is Themistocles Sakas. It's Themis for short. All right. And your name? My name is Klaus. Okay. And my name is Name. Name. All right. Okay. So, what were your first impressions of the book? Let's begin with you. Um. I was kind of anxious because I had never participated in a MOOC before. So, you know, when first when the first week came, um, I was kind of impressed about the amount of information in there and the uh, depth of the discussions. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what was mm. your impression? I think in the book, mm, they uh, provide clear content in the MOOC and they order the MOOC quite well and I quite I can follow them easily. So you mean the content is ordered really good? And yes. It has a good workflow. Uh, it, it's, it can lead me from from the uh, one topic to another topic yeah. and expand mm -hmm. my knowledge to discussion. All right. Okay. For me, uh, I noticed from weekly maybe about the web analytics. So uh, it's quite new for me because I haven't done anything about it. So. We learn how to each of the equipment, I mean the tools, can give you the marketers to analyze some particular area, like the demographic of the viewer who come to the website, and how can you uh, find the implication from that figures. Ah, okay, so that's a topic from week three. Week three, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Uh, so yeah, that li already leads to the uh, next uh, question. W what were the most interesting topics in this week for you? For you, it was probably web the analytics. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're talking about privacy issue. Privacy. Ah, privacy issues. Yeah. I found that uh, most of consumer, I think, they don't care too much about this issue, and they don't know that marketer or company that in the website owner can get all, all of your information from w when people access to that website. Yeah. Mm. And I think this, this issue, consumers should be concerned more. Yeah. The most particularly interesting topic, I guess for me, well, though, was the concept of free and what is really free um, in ev anything we do. You know, we, we tend to believe that because a service is free, there is no complications. Yeah. Uh, but we tend to think of free in a monetary way, and there are other times that there are other things that we spend. Um, for example, on Facebook, you don't spend anything, any money necessarily on it, but you spend most of your day probably in there. Yeah. So that's something. Yeah. To consider any other discussions you were in, interested or uh, took part in this week? Um, gamification, probably. Um, how uh, companies can m make a game out of their advertising campaigns. How they can like um, reward the lo the loyal consumers. It's like a loyalty system. What's your thought on gamification? I think it's like a mission that consumer or customer have to finish before they can get the reward and I think it's make more engagement between consumer and the brand. Yeah. And maybe it's linked to how they make the customer the feeling of achievement mm -hmm. of the trial or something yeah. like that. So. Alright. Mm -hmm. So do you have any example of a gamification? I've been, be, we've been using? Yeah, or heard of? Well, mm. the for us it's like line game, the game in line application. Oh, so right. it's like collecting the coins, but it's not really giving something to the society. It's just the the self achievement of the game. You know, when you finished one level, and then you rack, tell your friends, "Hey, I I finished this level," and racking on each other. That's all. All right. Uh, so, which benefits did you get from using the MOOC? I mean, it's the third week; it's almost over. How can you like finalize? Um, I think that the biggest pro, I guess, that I gained from the MOOC is that I learned a lot of things that 
are current in the marketing environment, you know, and I also, if you run through the comment sections, you would get different opinions from uh, students like us or from people with years of experience in the marketing field, so it, it was a great experience. I think you will give, give us an uh, experience about the topic that we learn and we can discuss in that topic with, with other, they may be a professional or maybe they have a deep knowledge about that topic and we can gain that information from them. That is one of the best experiences that I think I can get from the MOOC. All right, so, okay, mm. what about? For me, it's similar to both of them. So if you have time and have self-discipline, you can run through all the comments and you can get further information. Some of them give you the awareness from other points of view as a you know, professional. Mm. How do they see both angle of the effects, something like that, because we students, we only, you know, you see, we see what we see, yeah. you know, so yeah. it's quite interesting to learn more, and some of the articles, it can link to another article, so you can, be aware that you can find more information in the future. All right, okay, mm -hmm. thank you for the interview.